Hello, today we have a, a little bit of different video. It will be a short one, I guess. We're gonna re replace the thermal pads on this uh, video card. This is a Gigabyte RX 580 Gaming. It have uh, uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, memory. Now the problem with the card is that uh, the owner did replace the thermal pads, but uh, he used much much thicker ones. So basically the whole cooler right now is lifted uh, a lot. And uh, instead of uh, pro increasing the, the cooling, actually he made the things worse. So right now we're gonna replace the thermal pads. Uh, according to some of the people on the Texemetry Discord, this particular model have um, no issues with uh, overheating. So right now we're gonna replace the thermal pads on the memory uh, with uh, this. This is a thermal Grizzly uh, minus pad eight. We're gonna put a 0.5 millimeters on the memory. So let's let's start. You can see the fans are missing. Uh, the customer already ordered new fans. So basically, the cart is uh, used for mining. It's uh, very easy to be open. You just remove the four screws which are holding the cooler, and after that, there's uh, two more on this side. And basically, this uh, those six screws are holding the whole the whole thing. If you have uh, fans, you have to lift the cooler gently and just disconnect both of the connectors. But since we don't have it right now, we're just gonna slide a little bit the board, a little bit left to right, and basically that's the whole thing here. Now you can see that on this side. The thermal pads are much thicker. I think this is uh, 1.5 millimeter. I think. So the thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna replace the ones here on the memory, and we're gonna put uh, the one from the memory, which are one millimeter. We're gonna put them on uh, on the VRMs and on the on the coils to cool, and this way we're gonna lower the whole cooling basically with 0 0.5 millimeters so we'll see how it goes after the testing but first let's clean the thermal paste because we have to replace it it's a bit messy he did put a lot of thermal paste hoping to fix the overheating but that didn't help we'll basically try to clean as much as we can it won't be perfect, but as long as the chip is clean, everything else is not that important. Something like this. Now let's grab a those are much those are half of the size, so basically everything will go down. Now the first thing we have to do is just measure because we have only two pieces and we don't wanna waste any pads. 
I'm gonna put this here. We have one more here. We can cut, and there will be here for one of the chips also. We have to remove the tape from both sides. Like this. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. This is the uh, first time I replace thermal pads. Usually, if they're okay, I prefer to use the original ones because, uh, like I like to say, there's nothing better than the original, except in some very rare cases where everything is messed up. I've seen people on, on YouTube replacing a thermal pads without removing the tape, which is a bit crazy, but we need one more piece here for this chip. We're gonna use a tiny strip and put this here. Normally, when the cart was under load, it was going above 90 degrees, so I'll post uh, the results Sorry about that Improvising right now because on a different places they say a different thing about the thickness of the thermal pads. So right now we are lowering everything with half a millimeter. Let's put some thermal paste. I put the Arctic MX2, which is decent thermal paste These have uh, good qualities so it can last about a year, year and a half depend on the load basically that's the whole thing right now we have to put everything to back together
just put the screws now I have to find some some fans that I can plug in so I can test the cart because the original one will arrive after a week or two so in order to measure the gap you can use a thin piece of paper you remove all the pads and the thermal paste put the cooler back and try to slide a paper under the cooler if the paper is going you know very loose uh, you use second piece of paper this this way you can uh, you can find approximately the right thickness of the of the thermal pads you can use but right now we are experimenting so basically that's the whole procedure you can see the pads are flattened which means they go the cooler sitting nicely on them so right now the only thing we gotta do is we gotta find the fans and test the VGA card that's the whole whole video you can you can use the same method for replacing uh, the thermal pads on pretty much most of the the cards that are on the market just use a decent thermal pads don't buy something cheap from aliexpress because you're gonna make the things worst that's it for now hope you like the video bye bye